In mathematics, and also in real life, you're going to be dealing with a lot of circles. So what we're actually going to do in this video is we're going to look at circle words, or circle terminology. Terminology just means the words to do with the thing. In this case, the words to do with circles. First, let's draw a nice big circle, something like that. And let's draw all the different parts that we're going to talk about. Ooh, that's one part. That's another part here. And then we've got another part here. And another part here. That should be enough for now. Do you know the names of any of these parts? Hopefully by the end of this video you'll know the names of each of six parts of the, tr of the um, circle. Let's start with the most common and get to the rarer ones later. What about this guy? Let's do it in a smaller brush so you can see who I'm talking about. Uh, this guy here. Well, he goes from the center of the circle, which is here, this is the center, and it goes to the edge of the circle. It goes from the center to the edge of the circle. That line doesn't go all the way across, but it goes from the center to the edge. It's called a radius. That line is called a radius. What about the line that goes from one side of the circle all the way to the other side of the circle right through the middle. It's almost like two radiuses or two radii. There's one radius, there's the other radius, but it's one long straight line all the way across. That gentleman is called a diameter. Actually comes from Greek I believe which dia is across, meter is measure. So the thing which is measured across, all the way across the circle. That's the diameter. Let's draw some nice little arrows. There we are. Now, you might be wondering, what about this guy who's not going from the center, but just seems to be going across? He is actually called a chord. You don't see him nearly as often. He's far, far rarer than the radius and the diameter. They are the most important ones to remember. But there are other ones. This part, going from one side to the other side, but not through the center, is called a chord. What about the line touching the edge, but not going into the circle, and going across the outside, just touching it once? That is called a tangent. That is quite important, almost as important as a radius and a diameter. That is a tangent. Have you often, have you ever heard actually in a conversation where someone says, oh he went off on a tangent? What that means is here's the conversation here, then some guy suddenly started talking about something completely different. They went off on a tangent and that's where the phrase comes from. This is a tangent. It touches the conversation, but then completely goes off. That is a tangent. Next part, you're going to have to look a bit more closely because it's actually round the edge now. And that would be this section that goes, let me get a bit thicker brush, that goes round here, not all the way round, but just round one section here. Just kind of like part way round the circle. What's that called? That is called an arc. It's like um, the Arc de Triomphe in um, France, in Paris. It's an arc. Arc, like so. Just means a curved part of the circle, but not all the way round just round a bit of it. That's an arc. Again, that's quite rare, but it is important to know, especially later on in maths. That's an arc. 
the last one, which is really quite important, is the whole circle. It's hard to uh, draw it right on top of each other, but that whole way round. Nothing inside, but that whole way round the circle. Let me thicken that up. There you go. What is that whole way round the circle called? It's actually called the circumference. That is called the circumference. The word comes from circle and round. Circum is like circle. It's different from an arc because a circumference is all the way around, where an arc is only part of the way around. Just to make that clear, I'll draw the arc again, just so you can see it's only part of the way around, whereas the circumference is all the way around. I would say the most important ones for you to learn at the moment are the radius, which is from the center to the edge, the diameter, which is from edge to edge, going through the center of the circle, has to be going through the center, otherwise it's not a diameter, and the tangent, which is touching the edge, and finally the circumference, which is all the way around. And later on we'll be looking at how to find the circumference, the diameter, and all other aspects of a circle.